It is so much fun when we get to do drugstore dupes that are every bit as good as high end. In this video, I'm bringing you some dead on dupes, but I'm also bringing you a few by this, not that. I'm really excited to bring these to you. So let's get into these dupes that I found right now. I wanted to pan out all the way so that you could see my shirt. I know that we talk about my clothes all the time, but I definitely wanted you to be able to see what this one is. It's so fun. It's a knit ribbed shirt and this is cream and then it has the lace insets across it and then the rivets and the lace up with the tie right there. So that was a lot of fun. And I definitely can link my earrings for sure, my makeup and my fingernails. So I tried to wear as much of this makeup as I possibly could. And I wore high end on one side and then drugstore on the other. And at the end, I'll go ahead and tell you which was which, but you'll get to see that. So 10 of these. It's really exciting for me to find 10. Anyway, let's start out with primer. Very recently, Hourglass came out with their Vanish Airbrush Primer. This is so different than their other primer. It's very lightweight. It feels very hydrating. It fit, you can definitely feel that it has the dimethicone in it, but at the same time, it's not that super slick that their other primer was. And it really does perfect your skin, makes it look very flawless um, without feeling like it's got too much slip. It just feels really silky. So I've been enjoying that. It's really, really good one. And if any of you have gotten that one, and as a matter of fact, if any of you have any of these products we're going to talk about today, make sure that you tell us all that down below so that we can weigh in together on all of these. So I have really been enjoying it. It is one that is really beautiful, but I feel like the Revlon Photo Ready Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing is really beautiful. It is a really gorgeous primer that acts for me almost the exact same way. It has that same feeling of having that little bit of hydrating with the little bit of just the slip in there that makes it feel like silk. Now I will say that when you're working with this, I feel like you need a little bit less of the Photo Ready or the Revlon than you do of the Hourglass. And I do feel like maybe the Hourglass sinks in quite quickly, whereas this one just takes a little bit longer. But after that Revlon one does kind of dry down, it leaves you with that same silky feel and that same perfecting, the blurring, the pore minimizing, all of those beautiful, th beautiful things. So I am saying that you can definitely save money if you go the way of the Revlon. Sorry, I lost my cap somewhere. <laughs> Another primer that I was really surprised about is I really have loved for a long time the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is one that you put it on and you can feel that tackiness. You feel the hydration and the tackiness. And that's what it's meant to do is really prep that skin, get it so that it will grab on to your foundation and hold on to that foundation all day long. And that is great if you need longevity in your foundation. It also does the blurring. It does take a while to set down. It's a lot different than any other primer that you're normally used to. So it will remain tacky for quite a while. And you can feel that on your skin, it will be a little bit tacky, but I love it because of how long it makes my foundation last and that's what primers are designed to do. They're designed to be a barrier between your moisturizer and your foundation so that your foundation doesn't get pulled in as your moisturizer gets pulled into your skin. So that's why your foundation might not be lasting as long. But e.l.f. very recently came out with their Power Grip Primer. These, when you put them on, they act exactly the same way. Very, very tacky on the skin, very um, hydrating, and it really does grab on to that foundation for the whole enti entire day. You will feel a lot of hydration. So if you're somebody that is uh, oily skin, this might not be something that you like that much. It might be too much for your oily skin. You might want to just stick with the Revlon or the Hourglass because that might be a better fit for you. But if you're somebody that's dry, you might really enjoy these two. And I feel like definite dupe. It has that same tacky feeling, that same gripping property, makes your makeup last all day long. So good. Now, Everybody talks and everybody raves about the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. 
Everybody loves this. I have mine in light. Nope, I have mine in fair. Everybody loves this. I am one that can take it or leave it. I think it's a great powder. It's very super light. I know a lot of influencers, they're using it up underneath their eyes. They say that they can't use anything else, that this just perfects. It doesn't make you look older. It doesn't make you look more cakey. For me, I can't use this up underneath my eyes. I need something a little bit lighter, but it is quite perfecting over the rest of your skin. It will blur everything out. It will make everything look perfected. It will make your skin look extremely poreless and flawless. And I, I like it. I keep it because I like it, but the one that I'm super impressed with right now is from ColourPop and it's their new Pretty Fresh. I'm blown away by this powder. It feels so much lighter than the Charlotte Tilbury. So in my mind, this is not just a dupe because of how refining and flawless your skin looks and how it blurs out those pores and everything, but it's lighter. So I can use this up underneath my eyes. Whereas the uh, Charlotte Tilbury, I've struggled to use it underneath my eyes. If I get just a tiny bit too much, it's going to look cakey. This one doesn't look cakey. It really has that light, airy, creamy feel to it. My color is light six. They have a lot of colors in this. And that's the other thing I'm very impressed with compared to the Charlotte Tilbury, they have a few shades, but this one from ColourPop, they have a ton of shades, and we're talking a price difference of a tremendous amount, and I, sh I will put these up on the screen so that you can see the price difference. I should have had it in my mind before I got over here, but I really do feel like you're, not only are you saving a ton of money, but you also are getting a product that you might be able to use with mature skin, more so than you could with the Charlotte Tilbury. And don't get me wrong, beautiful powder, but I like this one much, much better. All right, this one that I'm going to share with you is not one that is high end to drugstore. This is a buy that, buy this, not that. Everybody loves the Milani Prep Set and Glow. Um, and it is a beautiful powder that is such a perfect dupe for the hourglass ambient powders that everybody wears and you can set your under eyes with it and it just gives this really soft candle like glow when you use it but this goes in and out of stock so much that you can hardly find it and it seems like when it comes into stock it's gone immediately and it takes some another three or four months to get it back in. So I do love this powder. I have it. I want to buy a backup, obviously, but I have found that you can use the Physician's Formula Rose All Day Set and Glow. Now there is a balm-like product that is right here, but when you flip that up underneath here is the actual powder. And I feel like this powder it might have a teeny tiny bit more glow than the Prep Set and Glow from Milani, but not a ton. You can really tell that this is a very soft, very ethereal powder that just looks beautiful and makes your skin look very perfected. So in this case, what I'm saying is if you're having a hard time finding the Milani and you've really wanted to, think about trying the Physician's Formula Rose All Day. Now mine is in Brightening Rose, but you can find this in a color that is more close to the Milani one. And I'll make sure that I'll put the name of that one up on the screen so you guys can see that. But in this case, it's one of those where you can't get this, so let's go after one that you can get. And like I said, you might find that this is just a tiny bit more illuminating than the Milani, but they're still beautiful powders. They feel the exact same way. They're very light, they're very airy, and they look very pretty on your skin. The next one is one that I put in a dupes video, goodness, probably two years ago. And it is this brush from It Cosmetics. And this is an It brush for Ulta. This is their, sometimes I can find the names on them and sometimes I can't. This is their number 211 all over powder brush. I adore these brushes. They are such good quality and they really wash up well. I've probably had this brush for five years and I just did pull a hair out of it. So it does lose a hair occasionally. It is so soft and it's so airy and it's really beautiful for buffing in powder because you don't have to get a lot on there. And since it has a lot more bristles on it, you're not, you know, like just getting a super amount of powder in one place. You can almost do your whole cheek in one swipe. So I love this brush. It's been one that I've adored for a very long time, but in came this brush, this powder brush 
from e.l.f. And I think this brush is every bit as good. It's every bit as soft. It's every bit as airy. It does the same exact thing. It buffs on exactly. As you can tell right there, they're almost exactly the same in height and in diameter of the bristles. So it's really good. And honestly, I don't know if I've ever had a bristle pull out of the e.l.f. one, whereas I have of the it one. So I do feel like this is better, cheaper and better, definitely, when we're talking about this brush. And e.l.f. has some fantastic ones in this I think it's called precision pro line or precise pro line of these brushes they're so good you can get them all together in one or uh, in like a makeup set brush set or you can get them just singular like this so I'll link both of those down below and by the way everything that I'm talking about today will be listed and linked below all right let's talk about my absolute love and how much I adore this liquid illuminator from rare beauty so beautiful absolutely gorgeous i love the texture of this i love the color of this i love actually she has another color of this which i love as much i love how this just does not make your skin look like it's got any texture on it at all but it just glides across it what i do is i'll put it on my hand like that and then i'll take a brush a stippling brush and then i'll put it across my cheeks and it's just beautiful it sinks in really quickly it just has this absolutely ethereal look look at how glowing and dewy dewy that looks it is so beautiful and i fell in love with these immediately but i already had in my stash which i had forgotten about and you can get a bigger tube of this now i don't know if you can get this littler one but this is the nyx born to glow liquid illuminator and you can get these in different colors as well so i think this one is called sunbeam and this one's delivery system is is just a squeeze tube now as i'm rubbing that across you can see that the two colors are different maybe you'll be able to see that the two colors are different so the nyx is a little bit lighter but like i said you can get different colors and this is a little bit more pink but the texture how it blends out how the feel of it it's so close i think that the nyx looks at look at what it's doing to my fingers it's so glowy i think the nyx might be just a little bit more liquid or fluid than the rare beauty it might be just a little bit more on the creamy side the rare beauty one but i think what i'm feeling there is probably the dimethicone in it or the silicone in it but as far as the way that they look on your cheeks can you guys tell which is which on mine and i don't think you can at all if you're looking at it and you're just trying to decide all right which is which which one went which one didn't i don't think that you can tell a difference and a fraction of the cost so I think that that's a knock it out of the park dupe and it's especially good because on both of them you can get different colors that you might like and be able to find the color that works really good for you so i do love both of these but if you need to save some money the nyx is where it's at all right the next thing is also a highlighter one of my favorite highlighters is from fenty and these are the kilowatt highlighters and then you have the two different highlighters right here and it's nice because you do get two different colors and it's a little bit of a different texture too so you have one side that is pretty darn high beam glowy and then you have another side that's just a little bit tad different when they're on my fingers like this you really can't tell they're just i would say that the one that is on this side right here is the one that is just a tiny bit of a lighter formula where it would just give you a softer glow whereas this one on this side would be a super high beam i like them both i love the texture of fenty's highlighters they're just creamy and buttery and they glide across your skin and i never find that i have any texture that i have to worry about with my mature skin but i also absolutely adore the catrice more than a glow highlighter and this one is exactly honestly if you had those two and you just did a blind test you could not tell the difference between the kilowatt and this one from catrice this one is called Pr supreme rose beam they look a little bit different in the pan partly because i've used the crap out of the catrice one but they are so darn close they are just every bit as nice the texture of them is fantastic the glow is the same you mix these two together you get exactly what 
with the Catrice is, I just think that you couldn't get more of a perfect dupe than this is. And if I reach for one and I want to absolutely have it be foolproof, I almost always reach for the Catrice. So that kind of tells you something too. So I love that. I think those are dead on dupes. Okay, next one I'm super excited about because so many people absolutely love the Tarte Amazonian Clay blushes and this one is one that is kind of a cult classic this one is called exposed i got the little one in the set during the holidays this is one of those blushes that is almost universal so many people can wear it no matter what their skin tone is it can be built up anybody from like very fair all the way up to medium dark skin can definitely wear this and it's a color that you can wash out so that it can be super soft you don't have to have you know a whole bunch of stark color on there these last so long they're called a 12 hour blush i think they're called the 12 hour and they definitely live up to that hype because they just hug your cheeks they're there all day and they're really really beautiful but one of these i believe is around 30 dollars. now as i was doing this video i was looking for one that could dupe that because that is such a cult classic especially that color exposed so many people have talked about how it's just a really good all-around color for so many different ones the elf primer infused blush in let's see i better read it because i get it wrong all the time always rosy i was gonna say rosy outlook or rosy all day but it's always rosy the this one so darn close i mean what i love about this one is that it has the primer in it and the other thing that i love about it is you get that huge pan and here we are and it just is it is like so close now i will say that maybe this one might have a tiny bit more pink in it but on my cheeks can you tell can you tell any difference at all that's the thing once you get it on your cheeks is there a way to tell any difference and there really isn't and looking at them they're very close the other thing about it is you know this one boasts from tarte that it has that 12 hour wear this one has the primer infused in it so you get that grip to your cheeks anyway so if i was to go like this and you had no idea where i had put the high end or where i'd put the elf one you wouldn't know they're just that beautiful and they're that close so this is definitely a dupe definitely buy this not that save yourself some money i think these these might have gone up to eight dollars now but but last I saw they were six or seven dollars. So you're going to save a whole lot of money there. The next one, if I'm not mistaken, I probably have talked about this in a video a while ago in a dupes video too, but it still is one that I love talking about because I love this color and Max lipsticks are so iconic that everybody in the world knows about Mac lipsticks and how beautiful they are. And for a reason, this is just one of those formulas that just is beautiful on the lips creamy and buttery and they last a long time this one is in snob and snob is a very it's just a very cool tone pink it's a really flattering blue based pink and it just looks beautiful on your lips right now i do have it on but i also have a gloss on top so i'm gonna see if i can just put it on this side just a little bit to freshen that up so just so you can see that now i love it i probably own two or three tubes of it it's one of my favorites but if you are somebody that is on a budget a tight budget and you really need one that doesn't cost you 19 dollars for a tube of lipstick this one is maybelline's blushing pout and this texture and the way that it wears the feel of it and the color is exact it is that blue based pink that is so pretty it is just one of those ones that you can again put it on next to each other you won't be able to tell the difference could you possibly if you saw me walking down the street and i had maybelline on instead of snob is there any way that you could ever tell the difference in the two i really can't when i get that close up to it both of them the formula is just so beautiful wear time moisturizing gorgeous formulas but you're gonna save a ton of money by going with the maybelline and i love that one lastly i might get a little bit of pushback about this but i'm kind of excited about it because 
everybody is entranced with the new charlotte tilbury beautiful skin foundation i did a whole video on this i did a first impression and down in the comment section i told you my thoughts on it it is an incredibly beautiful foundation but if you are somebody that's oily this is a very dewy foundation it is not going to be for you extremely dewy extremely hydrating but it's super perfecting and it does make your skin look beautiful it does make your skin look absolutely gorgeous okay so the other day i was pulling out and i did that whole video on og favorites this one from L'Oreal, the Pro Glow Infallible. I was actually baffled that I had not thought of this during that video, but it is such a close dupe. I do realize that I'm probably gonna get some people saying, no way, it's not. But can you tell on my skin which one is the L'Oreal and which one is the Charlotte Tilbury? I just wonder if there is any way that you could see which is which. This side is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin and this side is the L'Oreal Pro Glow. I don't think you could tell the difference. So on this side today, I have used all drugstore products. And then on this side, I've used super high-end products, all the ones that I showed you. Is there any way that you can tell the difference? I couldn't. I really couldn't tell any difference whatsoever as I was putting this on and as I was doing this full face of makeup. These two act so similar. They're very glowy, they're very dewy. They cover in one coat, cover my mature skin in one coat. Doesn't show up any texture, makes my skin look more youthful, lasts throughout the day, doesn't have any break apart in my normal places where I do get some break apart. They're just gorgeous, both of them. And I definitely would reach for this one, the Pro Glow over the Charlotte Tilbury for cost effectiveness. And I love this one from Charlotte Tilbury, but with Charlotte Tilbury, we always pay for the name. So I hope that they don't discontinue this because this is one of their favorites. And if we get on board and we go out and we buy this again, maybe they'll get the hint that it, it needs to stay around and not go anywhere. Definitely a dupe and I love the L'Oreal. I've loved this for so many years compared to the Charlotte Tilbury. That's it for today's video. Any comments, you guys? Do you have any comments about what I'm wearing or what I thought here? Do you have both the dupe and the high end? So you can kind of let us all know what you think about those in your collection too. And also, as always, if you guys have a dupe that you absolutely love, please let me know about it and leave it in the comment section so that I can go out and try it as well because then I can share it with our whole community community and we can all get in on the secrets to having gorgeous beautiful skin at a much less price so buy this not that cheaper and better at the drugstore when drugstore does it better all those good things i hope that you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up on your way out of here i love you all so very much and we will meet back here very soon in my very next video goodbye my friends <music>